Hello world, Rick Nappy here and welcome to the Nappy Report. And today is a product recall connected to your food. Meet me on the other side. Hi everybody, Rick Nappy here and welcome to the Nappy Report. And today's topic is a recall of a product that could be connected to your food. Something you really need to know. Now, as you know, I do a lot of food recall alerts and I let you know when food is contaminated and when you should stay away from it, when you should return it to the supermarket, ah, and when you should keep your family safe from this stuff. So anyway, let's look at this here. As you all know, I do a lot of cooking. Yeah, that's right. So I use a lot of mitts, I use a lot of holders, I use a lot of stuff. And look at this one. Yeah, how does that get, how does that happen? Does that ever happen to you? And then you grab the, whatever you're grabbing that's hot and you burn your fingers here because the protective stuff is burnt off. My goodness. Well, that's what we have today. See that up there? Mm-hmm. Let me tell you about it. Because if you have it, you need to be aware of it because it could create a problem. Demdaco, microwavable bowl holders recalled for a fire hazard. Mm -hmm. Now, I've never heard of a microwave starting a fire with a pot holder or something like that, but this is a bowl holder. And um, uh, it's a pretty, pretty, uh, look at that. It's really, uh, it's pretty, I'd, I'd, I'd buy it, you know. So about 56, um, 56,200 of these pot holders were sold in the United States and 369 were sold in Canada, only 369. But boy, Americans love this stuff, don't they? So they were available in hardware stores, florists, drug stores, pharmacies nationwide and sold online also. Uh, and Amazon, Target, Zuli. Uh, so here's the problem. The problem is that the fabric can char after being microwaved for the suggested three minute time span. Do you believe that? Sometimes when I read this stuff myself, I read it over and over again and I double check things. And then when I read it again, I go, yeah, three minutes, it'll happen in three minutes. So these, uh, these holders uh, are made of cotton and linen. So, and it came in like 27 different designs uh, but the bottom line here is pretty, pretty, pretty looking. I like it. I, it really looks good to me. But you don't want to burn yourself. So remember, I guess it really doesn't matter. The, these, these particular ones here go for about $23. So it's not a cheapie. Um, this one that I had, I think... <laughs> I think this cost me a dollar at like dollar to the dollar store or something like that. But same difference, man. So whether it's a dollar or $23, I guess if you get a bad one, you're really in trouble. And I cook a lot. And if you guys are barbecuing, grilling and all this kind of stuff uh, over the holiday, uh, make sure your mitts, your pot holders and your microwave bowl holders um, aren't going to catch fire or char or burn your skin. So anyway, that's a quickie for today. And uh, I hope everybody has a great weekend and you enjoy your 4th of July and barbecue and make all that great food that everybody's going to eat. And remember something, it only takes about 20 minutes for anything made with your dairy products outside there on your picnic table to start to spoil and generate bacteria. And you don't want that because you get pretty sick. So you got about 20 minutes unless you chill it on ice. So, and remember, if it's hot out there, make sure you hydrate. Remember the young ones, the little kids, they dehydrate a lot quicker than adults. So just a few little tips there and make sure that you use that thermometer on whatever you're cooking so it gets up to the right temperature so you don't end up with E. coli or listeria or anything like that that may be hidden in the, uh, in the product itself. I want you all to stay happy, healthy, and safe. All right, so God bless you and God bless your health. And I'll see you. <sighs> I'll see you after the holiday because I'm taking a road trip, man. All right, everybody. God bless you and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.